thank our hosts, we have the beautiful, the whole team of the Games Amusement Board, they did a wonderful, wonderful job putting this together. It's amazing. We only had, or they only had, six weeks time to put all this together. Can you imagine? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable to me. So, thank you so much for all the hard work you put into this. When I, when I heard that we had a chance to do this in Manila, I said, let's do it, we have to do it. Doesn't matter if it means sleepless nights and working through, we have to go back to Manila because this is the place where I learned what the WBC is. And this is the place where I learned what boxing is. In 2007, I came here for my very first WBC convention. I was 26 years old, I was a baby. I didn't know anything about the sport, not one thing. I came here without any expectations, just having a look. And Don Jose Sulana invited me to the suite. And I didn't understand it. I mean, as I said, I didn't know anything about the sport, and here was this man who transcended the sport. I mean, he was, he was fighting against apartheid. He was friends with Nelson Mandela and Muhammad Ali, and he invites me, who was a nobody, less than a nobody back then. And he invites me to the suite, and Mauricio was there, and Don Jose was there. And Don Jose tells me, we're so happy you're here. You are the most important person at this convention. And I went like, yeah, right. Come on. And then I thought, like, you say that to everybody. And then I understood, yes, he did say that to everybody, but he didn't mean it. And he was right. And I want to say that to all of you, each and every one of you, you are the most important person at this convention. Because that is what the WBC is all about. It's about people, it's about all of you. There, there will be no WBC without all of you, without every single one of you. So thank you all for coming here. And be assured, as Don Jose says, and I'm sure that he's watching us, you are, every single one of you is the most important person here. And we can only make a change together. So that's what we're here for. Just, oh, just one thing. In two, 2007, I mean, it was for me, it's a long time ago. Jelena was here. At that time, Jelena was already Ukrainian world champion and two time world champion. And then sitting across the table, Fabiana Bucci at the same time was 11 years old. So it was a long time ago. Sorry, Jelena. No, I'm not saying you're old. No, no, no. no. I'm not going to go. And now, fast forward, in, in 2014, Mauricio Sulaiman asked me if I would chair this email championship committee. And I was so honored and so honored there was no way I would say no. Although I didn't really understand what it was all about. I was invited to the first women's convention in Plata Common, and I said, why? I mean, why, why are we doing the women's convention for the World Boxing Council? Boxing is the same for men and women. I mean, why do we need that? And at that first convention, I really understood, and from that I started understanding what, what these women are. And I mean, they are, they are an inspiration, every single one of them. There are so many female champions, reigning former, who didn't make a penny for fighting. Instead, they were working 10 hours, 12 hours, like going to the gym before the work, after the work, putting the money they make in the professional career, in their boxing career, just to pay their, their hotel rooms, their life, their opponents, to promote themselves. These women are here for passion because they want to be here. They're not here for money, they're not, because they're not making money. They should, but they're just here because they want to be here. And I mean, you're all in great. Give them a round of applause for your champion. <laughs> and then, in the part of common and with everything that followed, I understood we got to work on that. And it cannot be that they're world champions, the best of the world in what they're doing, in a sport that is global, in a sport where Floyd Mayweather became the best earning athlete like five years in a row and made hundreds of millions of dollars. And these women were doing the same and were great competitors. 
that will make the penny, no, that can't be. And we, and we will not stop what we're doing until one of these ladies, our next generation to come, will make hundreds of millions of dollars. That's what we're here for. Make sure they get what they deserve, they get the education they deserve, and they get the pay that they deserve. So, I just want to show you a quick video of where we came from. Um, the first convention I had come, which was beautiful, and, and some of these ladies had been there. The second convention we had in 2016 came out, which was wonderful. And we have, I think we have a short video yep. uh, that goes through those conventions just to show you what we did.